Hey, my name is Jake. Uh, I'm with uh, BostonScott.net, um, and I'm sitting here with uh, Ronnie and Tyler from Spring Hill Jack USA, who are playing at the Middle East downstairs. That's the building we're in right now. Uh, on October 27th, uh, with Thumper, Obi Fernandez, and Matt the Band. What have you guys been up to this year? You know, since the start of year, you've got a show coming up. What, what have you done in the last six months? Seven? I've been uh, working and living in New Haven and getting extremely bored of it. So I thought I'd come out with a new adventure. We uh, we got together, what was it, uh, early spring and decided that we had some shows in uh, in early spring. One was in Providence, one was in New York. We did oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So New York was awesome, it was the Apple Stop. Yeah, tell me about the Apple Stop, you know, what was that like? It was like a musical high school reunion. Just about like almost everybody we hadn't seen in about 15 years, pretty much playing that show. Slackers, uh, Dumper got back together for. for We've for seen them, but we haven't been in the same room. Yeah, right, 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 right. We right. have another like, you know, it's like actually the Spring Hill Jack we used to have it too. Like we're not in the same years, we weren't in the same room all together at the same time. Right, the same thing. At the same time. You know, any excuse to like hang out with Cooper and the high tapers is always a good thing. Like, Probably a good time. Yeah. What was the what was the crowd like at Apple Apple Stop? You know, insane. Uh, it was about like 1,500 people like for, our, for the night that we played, and people were just going off. Uh, it was cool. Like, everyone was so psyched to see Cooper reunited. Mephistopheles was there, so you got your demonic guy, and then you know us idiots did our thing. And, you know, the Slackers did their awesome music, musical, musicality thing that they do. You know, old school reggae and beautiful. Brilliant. Really nice. Sure. So, uh, for those who don't know, you guys put out uh, uh, your, your last full length, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, was, was 1998. And you took a couple years was off. Was it really? Yeah. According to all music. 1988? 90, 98. 98. 88 or 90s? It might feel like it. Yeah, yeah. We probably wrote the song well, in 1980. <laughs> so, what was the uh, what what got you guys back together? Right? Like, what was the uh, was there a moment? What happened well, that made you say I want to do this? We did uh, reunion shows. Like, we always talked about it. Like, yeah, for, like forever. Like, uh, pretty much like I don't know. Like, you know, like, we were all in different bands. Like, uh, Chris is in Boston. Peace, Less and Jake. I was in Los Angeles. Towers and Ribbon Fish. Michael's in, uh, what was it? Uh, Lord Tom? No, no, oh, it was it before that. Lady Friend. Oh, Lady Friend. Yeah. We always talked about, you know, we don't, we're all friends, we never stop being friends. Sure. You know, any any big life events, we always see each other. Yeah, yeah. we're family, basically. And then, uh, basically, we just said, like, we were joking, like, oh, you know, we're going to play a show, and then finally, we finally, like, Let's just get back. Let's just get back to doing what we do. Like it. I mean, we did, we did the, the New more, Haven thing. Like, yeah, it was more. It was more for like just to have fun. Sure. I mean, have fun and just uh, really, you know, for the, the people who wanted to see it, and the people for us personally, just be like have a throw a party. So that was so the the reunion was at uh, Toad's place in 2010. Two shows. Two shows. Two shows. Um, what was that like? Like, that was amazing. Yeah. It, it was absolutely amazing. People, people like from all over the country, actually internationally, flew in sure. to Connecticut for, for the weekend, and, and it was it was just uh, like 1998 all over again. <laughs> Except yeah. everybody came to us. Everybody was great. So, but I glad it was easier. Um, I, I'll tell you, I was in the audience at both those nights. Oh, it was a really good time. Um, and it felt like the crowd was in rare form. Like people, who, people came out of the woodwork. Yeah, it was out of the woodwork, and it was just like a huge. It felt like a big family gathering. Where, like, everybody. It was like this energy of love that was just shooting at us. It was like so fucking amazing. It was like you couldn't even describe like, the feeling that like, after being away for so long, is like, people come up and just give you this love. Sure. It's like a feeling you just go on top and just basically give me a feeling of utter happiness. It's amazing. That and everybody is, is 15 years older, so they're like, they have jobs and like, you know, like responsibility. So it's like, so you, guys playing, you guys are playing, yeah, it was like, you guys are playing a weekend show? Brilliant. I'll bring my wife. You right. know, like, 
I bring like, like kids uh, now too. Like yeah, bring the kids. It's great. Yeah, they have those. Very cool. Um, so we talked about New York. We talked about New Haven. Um, but we're sitting here in Boston. Um, were there any particular? Like, when was the last time you guys played Boston? After the reunion show. Sure. We uh, basically were talking all the time. Well, oh, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do that. Yeah. And then we were once again yeah. basically. Yeah. Like, we, we can, we have, we can we procrastinate seven guys, with anybody. When you have seven guys in a band, you're always like, especially when everyone's living in different places. It's just like, why? You know, I got two why? kids now, Mike has a son now, so just getting everybody to be able to commit the time to, to getting together. And be, be on the road all the time. Yep. Yeah. We're just trying hard to get everyone together. Sure. So just keep going. But, uh, so, Flood from Festus. Just asked me and Mike to play an acoustic show. Sure. Of like, uh, so they're like, Christmas party. Sure, sure. For the Christmas party. Yeah. So like, oh, yeah, of course. Because why wouldn't the record label have a Christmas party? Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. so sense. it was like this Christmas party and like, you know, floods overseas, help us out, and put out uh, the records, put out the re release mm -hmm. songs for the first time. Mm -hmm. So we played the show, and like, there was like 300 people showed up. I remember the same one. Yeah, yeah, where is this? Did you say, uh, was it the, uh, what that place called? Daniel Street. No, for that again. No, for Daniel Street. And, uh, we're at Daniel Street. And, like, I've seen a lot. And, like, whoa, it's awesome again. So then, we didn't think we were going to get back and do anything. He's like, oh, would you do the same thing and open up? Because we're releasing, uh, Pilfers and Pike Issues. We're like, uh, what? Yeah, of course. Why wouldn't you? So we're like, alright. Yeah, so we're gonna do it. We do the same thing. And then once it like, got more whatever it was gonna be, we were like, Right. Like, so we just uh, formed the, the band that we could to, uh, we actually had 14 people the show. And uh, we got my friend Seeger from Chapella Bravo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, we just formed that to play the songs. It's great. And it was awesome. It was a great time. We had a great time. The show was great. And then after that, we were like, this, this is pretty, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. And then we, uh, and I walked into that toad show that they were doing on the toad. I was like, well, why would I go see Pilfer's Pie Tasters and like, my God, so I show up. Somebody's like, here's a four. I was like, how convenient. Right. What's up? How convenient. Well, yeah, yeah I, was, I was like, here. I was like, 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 like uh, did you bring your horn? Like, <laughs> no. Like, no, I'm retired. What do you mean you didn't bring your horn? I was like, of course. I, I told you I wasn't bringing no horn. I, I was retired. I was happily retired. Sure. And then somebody gave me a horn and I sat on stage and filmed it. Like, I was like, I think I'm out of retirement now. So, yeah, I just said, I'm out of retirement. So since, yeah, so, stuff, since, right? so since that, it's kind of loose stuff, and then, uh, actually, uh, you guys from Batfish contacted me, I'm like, hey, we love the band, we should want to play with us, and like, you know what, let's do it, let's do it, let's do a show, and we did a show at the Lupo's with that, and then we did, uh, that was going on, and then after that, we got Vinny. Vinny Noble from uh, yeah, Pilfer. Pilfer. Bim Scala Bim. Uh, you know, he's an old friend. It's like, hey man, you want to sit in and be awesome like you always are? Yeah, yeah. We, and we were, Pilfer and Pie Tasters were the two bands that we always, like, basically were like, we're on the road again if we weren't like that. None of, none of us had other tours going on. Like, the other, like, we're out with this band, or whatever. They, you know, anytime that was going on, they just got tour. Right. It was like, why did they just build for Spiel Jack? Sure. You know Once I mean? again, you guys do so your yeah, so awesome, we, happy, fun, timey, like, goofy, like, a good, kind of, yeah. a good reason for like, a crew of people to get together and go out there and have fun. 